All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how you should set up your legal entity, your business structure. Um, for me, for us in Colorado, we go to Colorado Secretary of State. And so I don't know how it's, how it's done in other states. I don't know if each state has a Secretary of State or not. I just haven't looked into it. But what I do know here in Colorado, we go to Colorado Secretary of State. What I would do if I were in your shoes, if I didn't know how to do this, or if I was in a different state, I would just Google search how to set up a legal entity in Texas or how to set up a legal entity in New York, whatever that may be. So likely there's gonna be something similar to the Secretary of State, okay? Once again, I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm not giving legal advice. I set my companies up as a single member LLC to begin, okay? There are different tax advantages and tax advantages and strategies for setting up single member LLCs, partnerships, S corporations, but that can come later and you'll discuss that with your CPA, okay? If you have any questions on this, reach out to your CPA, ask them what you should do uh, in this process and they should be able to help you with this. But in a nutshell, you're just going to be able to, uh, let's call, uh, for example, let's, let's use mine for example, Bear Claw Land Services. Just use your business name and put an, put comma LLC after that. Don't overcomplicate this, all right? So Bear Claw Land Services LLC, go file that uh, paperwork. It takes like five minutes. Um, should take like five or 10 minutes to file that with your state, all right? Then just make sure to reach out to your CPA and just say, hey, I wanna file this. I wanna set up an LLC. Um, and then they'll help you get that portion set up. Then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to register for an EIN number or an, some people call it an FEIN number, uh, stands for federal EIN number. It's basically like a tax identification number. So this has to do for your tax filings at the end of the year um, as it relates to your business. So just like you have a social security number for yourself, your business has an EIN number. That's what the IRS uses. Next thing you need to do on this is just go set up a bank account, but you can't set up a business bank account until you have your LLC, your like filing documents associated with the LLC and your federal EIN number. So go get those two things first and then go pick a local bank. Look, all these banks like Chime and um, Relay and all these ones that are offering these like sexy tech products that you know, say that you're gonna do this and that, don't don't waste your time with it. Just go to a local bank. Um, I'm not gonna give you financial advice. I've used like smaller local banks before and I've also used some of the larger banks like Chase and Wells Fargo. Um, so I won't tell you which banks to choose, just go with one that's close to you. Cause I'm telling you, when you're in local services, you're gonna, you're gonna use a, a, a software. Um, we'll get into that in the next video to claim online payments through ACH and credit card. But I'm telling you this right now, when you're servicing people who are 60 and 70 and 80 years old, some of them don't mess with that kind of stuff and they won't even touch the online stuff. So you're not just gonna tell them that you only accept online payments because that would be stupid because they're gonna tell you, oh, well, I don't do it. So you're not going to get paid. So you as a business owner should go get paid on it and stop by their house and pick up a check. Now we try to limit this because it's not efficient, but there will be people who pay you with checks. All I'm trying to say is yes, sure. There's mobile deposit and all that stuff, but there will be certain times our back office manager makes a daily run to the post office and she makes a daily run to the bank to deposit checks that people have either mailed um, or, uh, or ones that she has, has picked up. So, you want a local bank that is easily accessible. Okay, that's that's all I'm gonna give on the like legal structures and, and bank and all that stuff, but it's necessary. It's boring to me, it's necessary. You should allocate. Oh, the bank stuff is just painful sometimes because setting up all that stuff, it just takes time out of your day. Block off an afternoon and just go knock it all out. 